and you're so good at zone breaking. And then, you know, if you want to sort of be a little bit more slow and use your disjoints, that's when you have Ivysaur. And I I'd be curious to... Oh, my God, dude. I actually feel like... Like, PT is one of the, I mean, uh, Rob is one of the few characters that has the tools to, like, properly edge guard PT. Like, you don't just, like, let PT go back to ledge. Like, you can play the game off stage versus PT. I mean, we'll see. The thing is that I feel like Rob, he does have long lasting hitboxes, but they still kind of require placement and timing. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it ends up going. Uh, this is a matchup that I'm sure neither of these players are a stranger to. So at this juncture, it just comes down to who's able to do it better. Oh man, look at that. This yeah. is what, okay, yeah, that's. Yeah, you see, like, he, he, he has enough things to take away enough options off stage that then he can, like, maybe place his buttons in the right place. Yeah. Like, throw the gyro, force the, actually have to force low. Yeah, and oh, that's something, like, when we think about, you know, the way that Quid plays versus the way that Noku plays, one thing is that Noku gets a lot of his stocks at the ledge while yeah. trapping his opponents. And, I, and Rob is a character that kind of can get stuck at the ledge sometimes. Yeah. He is a massive frame, and he doesn't necessarily have the best options. Oh. Uh, that was okay. actually really shitty. He fucked up the jab on, on picking up the gyro. Okay, so uh, everybody watch YZU's new video about how to pick up items. He made a 30-minute video yeah. about picking up items. He literally died trying to pick up that gyro because he yeah, got rapid he jab on you it. You can, yeah. a, a thing I learned, attack cancel into jump into throw it. Like, you, you use the, because you know you can cancel yeah. the beginning frames of your dash attack into a jump. And so your dash attack, even though the animation is canceled, you'll still grab the, the uh, thing, and you were able to jump into the air with an aerial at the same time while grabbing it. So He did immediately take the stock after, dying for his mistakes with Charizard, but... Now he's gotten a decently sizable lead. Yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna. There's yeah. <laughs> so there's so few tech things in this game that when somebody releases a really good tech content, like people should just go and watch it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the up smash gonna connect. Rob's big body punishing him again. Like, well, also that was just a solid parry. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if you parry Rob's neutral air, there are quite a few characters that could get not up smash out of it. Oh, hello, Squirt. <laughs> oh. That was really good. Using the super armor on that uh, the squirrel side view in order to just beat out Rob mashing aerials. I like the idea of switching to Ivysaur there and immediately sending the Vine Whip because, like, you would think that he's like, oh, you're a Squirtle. You're going to take a second to, like, you know, reset your neutral. And instead, you're getting swung at. Yeah. And, I mean, the other thing is that, so, because he's had issues being trapped at the ledge, he's now going through a super high recoveries. Noku's anticipating that and switching to Ivysaur immediately so that he can, you know, start to pressure with an up air or something. Oh, that's gotta be that's, it. That's, that's it for sure. That down smash was a little antsy. He and Noku with a two stock. He lost that first... He, after losing that first stock, he reversed three stock. Yep. So... A lot to be said. Absolutely. Just there's, the, if you want to see the narrative that's going on right now, Whirlpool has a lot of adjusting that he needs to do because it seems that Noku is just especially catching his landings, which as Rob, a lot of Robs can sometimes feel like they get down for free because he's, his hitboxes are so ridiculous, yep. but Noku knows how to punish it. He's so consistently punishing things like neutral air, you know, the, those other landing options. I don't like this, this uh, counterpick choice for, for Whirlpool. It's definitely, I mean, I think this is one of PT's best stages, personally. Yeah. Uh, you have so much in terms of comboing with the platforms, but, I mean, it might just be a comfort pick, or maybe there is something specific about this matchup that he's uh, trying to I think to he use. also needs help getting down, like, from ledge. So he, if he's going to go high, he needs help getting down. I think the platforms might do that um, some justice. Oh, man, look at all of that damage. And that was great coverage from Noku, too, still being able to... Uh, Punish the air, directional air dodge away. But this is okay. This is also one thing that does look kind of good for Rob in the matchup. Once you start hitting your opponent, you just take center stage. Yeah. The way that he's able to position himself underneath those three platforms, it kind of becomes a nightmare for Noki to actually make it down to the. Oh my god. The, Speaking of nightmares. The early up B. Nice and spice. But you see what I'm saying about him? Like he uses back air, and he can choose between platform and, and floor landing. Yeah. Like he'll he'll recover high and then go for back air to put in platform if he wants to. You know, 
if you notice this, I feel like in the game one, Noku was doing a great job of just, like, he wasn't getting hit by these landing areas. But now he's jumping and trying to anticipate it. Whereas, like, why would you need to jump? I was going to say, up B is a fantastic anti-air option uh, that you don't have to, oh my god, you know, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he had his jump. He had no invincibility, and I, Whirlpool just wasn't expecting him to get all the way back onto the stage, I think. All right, here comes Zard. I think this is a great time for Zard. Uh, he's at death percent. Whirlpool could die right here. If he's not careful and he gets up smashed, I think I'm back, back here. Oh, my God. So close to doing it cross stage. That's an angry dragon. 176, the forward air is going to do it. Forward throw, rather. Wow. Yeah. With that much rage. Oh, boy. That neutral is not enough to do it. This is three stocks to one, especially as Rob. Sometimes he's, I mean, okay, so if he's not able to land his, you know, ridiculous gyro side B combos, it kind of is hard for him to make comebacks happen. The, the problem with that stuff, too, is uh, PT has that, that Pokemon switch to get out of those situations yeah. all the time. And by the time you let the side B rip, if you Pokemon switch, you're, you're out of there. It's not getting covered. Yeah. Oh, my God. Noku at 244 and still surviving perfectly fine. Sarah, that's 224. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I do think that's... The thing is that Noku was doing a really good job of, at that higher percent, recognizing I can get hit by things. But, like, at longer range, Rob's not going to kill me. Yeah. Yes, a laser does a ton of damage. It does, like, 20 plus, I think. But uh, that's not a problem, man. Yeah. yeah, that's not a problem. It's still Zard. And, you know, i just looking for as much damage as I can when I can. Oh, what an up call The max out. range up beat call out. Yo, yeah. I love Squirtle up B. It's the funniest move in the game to hit people with because it happens all the time. People oh, Noku went for the Noku. Yeah. Went, went for the, the F smash at ledge. Oh, I love that coverage. Yeah, he went for the up B. Dude, the up air almost connected there. It could have been like up B cover up air if it was a little faster. Yeah, an, an early switch to Zard. I'm wondering if he's actually going to switch. Oh, now, now I think he's too high percent for the... Oh, no. Uh, I was going to say, Whirlpool could make take advantage of the fact that the early switch to Zard is combo food. Yeah. But, but the thing is, I, I actually think what happened is there, he saw that in his brain. He's like, it's early switch to Zard. I can get a lot of damage here. I can't make just, this deficit. He overextended. Hit his shield. And the thing is that, if you 